In this video, I'm showing you how to download CapCut and use it on your computer. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that as well, please go down below and consider leaving a like. And please do watch this video right until the end as I'm showing you the four steps of getting CapCut and all the tips and tricks for this as well to get it on your PC. So without any further ado, let's go and get into this. I'm now on my desktop and let's go and continue this video for getting CapCut on our PC. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go and jump into your internet browser. I'm personally using Google Chrome. So as you can see, here we are. So all you want to do is simply go and search for something called Bluestacks. Now do keep watching, I'm explaining this fully in just a moment. So make sure you come and search for Bluestacks and you come to bluestacks.com. So what Bluestacks is, it's essentially an emulator for Android. So what we can do is, is we're going to go and get an Android device on our desktop so we can then go and download CapCut on the emulator and then we can go and use CapCut on our desktop Windows computer. So honestly guys, it's a lot easier than it probably sounds. So let's go and jump straight into this. So of course we need to go and download this program. So click download Bluestacks, it's completely free as well. And as you can see, it's now dropped this launcher down here. So go and click on it once and we may go and get a Windows Cootie pop-up. Unfortunately, my computer does not record that. Then as you can see, we go and get this pop-up here. So I'm going to go and click update and it's going to go and do a full download of Bluestacks and the time taken will depend on your internet speed. So I'll catch up with you guys once it's gone and finished downloading. It may go and do a few other downloads as well. As you can see, it's now started the next one. Then once it's finished downloading, you're going to go and get this pop-up here saying checking system requirements and then it's going to go and start the process of extracting the files. So we'll have to wait again for this and I'll catch up with you once it's finished. And once Bluestacks has finished installing, it's then going to go and start starting up. As you can see, here it is saying starting Bluestacks. So guys, here we are, it is now finished loading. So as you can see, we literally have a full Android device here, and we can go and use our mouse and keyboard as the input. So let's go and jump into the Play Store, and of course, go and get CapCut. So all you need to do is go and sign in to a Google account as we're using Google Play. So I'm going to go and click on sign in, and then we can go and sign in. So I've now signed in, so all I'm going to do is simply go and search for CapCut just like so and then I'll go and hit enter I'll just go and click here even and then it's now loading and boom here it is the CapCut video editor 3 million reviews so all I'm going to do is go and click on install here and as you can see it's now starting the download and now it's gone and finished so now I'm going to go and click on the home button and as you can see, it's now been added to my dashboard. Now, just before we go and launch CapCut and I show you it working, we need to go and get video files into here and I'll show you exactly how. So all you want to do is come to your desktop by clicking on the home button, then go to system apps and go and click on the, the media manager. So click here. Then all you want to do is go and click on import from Windows. So click here and it's going to go and open your Windows file explorer. Then you can find any video you would like to import. So I'm going to go and find one, for example, this Audacity download and go and click on open. Then as you can see, it's now importing the file and it doesn't take too long at all. There we go. As you can see, it's now in my imported files as well as another video I've already done. So once you've clicked on the home button, we're back here. Now let's go and get into CapCut. So simply go and click on it just like so. Then all you want to do is go and click on new project. And then we can go and choose a video to go and use. So for example, I could go and use this one here. So I'm going to go and click on it. And then I'm going to go and click on add. And here we go, guys. It may take a minute to load, but as you can see, we're now in CapCut and we can go and do everything. We can go and do edit, audio, text, stickers, everything you could do on, you know, the mobile version of CapCut, you can go and do on the desktop version. Now, if you're experiencing any lag, then all you want to do is come to the bottom right of Bluestacks where you've got this settings cog. Then you can click here and you want to come and click on performance. And here we can go and change the amount of performance we're going to be getting. So you can go and increase the amount of CPU cores you're giving it. As you can see, mine is only being limited to one CPU core. So if I go and increase this, I'm going to get far better performance. As well as that, you can also go and increase the amount of RAM you're giving it as well. And you can go and choose the performance mode uh, for balanced or high performance. And then you go and click save changes. So I do really recommend increasing this. I will try and increase it myself in a moment. But there we go, guys. That is how you can go and get CapCut on your computer. If you found this video useful, please go down below, subscribe, leave a like. I'll catch you the next one. Peace.